Hello and welcome to Vinny's Edo World. Finally, we have reached towards the end part of our chapter polynomials. So today we will be discussing about algebraic identities. Looking at the screen, you would have got an idea what kind of identities are we going to discuss. So these are only four out of the eight identities that we are going to learn. These four you have already used and you are familiar with this isn't it a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a plus b into a minus b and x plus a into x plus b by chance while working out uh, you forgot any one of the identity you should know how to derive it isn't it it's a must that we always should know how to derive any particular formula so here I will give you an example. I will tell you the how to retrieve the last formula. You can apply the same concept for all the four. But just in case you forget. But you should remember them. Okay. So the formula was x plus a into x plus b. Right. Sometimes we get tense and we forget the answer of this. So we should know how to derive it. So this x I will multiply with this whole thing, whole term. Then I will say plus a and again I will multiply with the whole term. Right? Generally we do this when we multiply two terms in the brackets. Isn't it? So this will become x square plus xb or bx whatever you want to write plus a into b. Then what is common in this? x is common. So I can write in the bracket b plus a and I can write x outside. See I got the answer. Use this trick only if you don't remember. But always try to by heart these identities. It saves lot of time. Now what are we going to do is how we are going to use these identities in our textbook questions in our chapter. So I would request all of you to get a pen and paper uh, because maths you should not watch and learn. You should always try to do it along with me. I will give you a question. If you already know how to do it, just do it on the paper. If you don't know, try to do a little bit, little bit. Isn't it? Always you can pause the video and go along with me. Okay, so let us start with the first question. The first question is this I'm not going to do okay this is a very very easy one what will you do if they ask you to solve use an appropriate identity looking at it what do you understand which identity will fit here if this is our a and this is our b we know this is a plus b whole square isn't it we can apply that here uh, a becomes our 3x 4y becomes our b so this will become a square square is always for the entire number which is 3x is the entire number plus 2 into 3x into b plus what 4y whole square isn't it so what does this become 9x square plus 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 4 is 24xy plus 16y square very simple these are the simplest kind of questions that you will get you will get more of these questions using a minus b also so this is done what if you get slightly twisted question what if you get a question like x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x square plus 1 into x square x raised to 4 plus 1 yeah if you get a question like this how will you solve it anybody wants to do a trial can do it okay and anybody wants to go with me they can go so what i would do is i would first look here do i sense an identity here x minus 1 into x plus 1 a plus b into a minus b can you see that exactly so this will become a square minus b square done okay so this i'll put in a bracket and next step it becomes like this okay now what we will do you yourself tell me can i look this 
again do I sense the same identity here that here what is my a here my a is x square a is x square so a square will become what square of this that means it will become x raised to 4 isn't it so I can write x raised to 4 minus 1 into x raised to 4 plus 1 now again do you see the same pattern a minus b and a plus b right this is my a this is my b a and b only the signs are different so again it will be a square minus b square isn't it so what will be a square square of this minus so what will be this what will be the answer x raised to 8 minus 1 isn't it very simple right this is the way to do it. If you are liking our video, please go ahead, like it, share and subscribe with your friend. Okay. Now, let us go ahead and do the next question. This is my next question. X minus Y by 5 minus 1. X plus Y by 5 plus 1. Take it as a challenge and try to do it guys. If you are able to do it, very good. But there is a small trick in this. Have you seen anything common or different? This is x minus y and this is x plus y by 5. So the sign is different. Okay. So just don't blindly go and do it. Read the question carefully. So let us start. Let's start how to do it x minus y by 5 minus 1 x plus y by 5 minus 1 so what can I do tell me I can write this as x let me take y is minus is common let me put the rest in the bracket what will happen y plus 1 I'll have to write isn't it because minus into minus will become plus when I open the bracket and only then I will get this part right okay and here x plus I'll put them in bracket but when I put in bracket for plus no changes okay now what do you notice do you feel this is your a and this is your b this is your a and this is your b a minus b a plus b simple so this will become a square minus what is your b square 5 by 1 plus 1 b square right did you get this so a square is fine but b square again here there is a pattern what is the pattern a plus b whole square so we will have to open that let us go ahead and open that what was that uh y by 5 plus 1 whole square. So, if I open it, what will it become? a square. So, this will become this plus 2ab. That is 2y by 5 plus 1. Right? And if I open my bracket, I have to open the bracket for my answer. My answer will become this. Who all got it? Yay! Come on! Isn't it right? Easy? Not that difficult. Even though at the first go when we look at the question, we feel it is little difficult. But when we think and start doing it, it is just piece of cake. Isn't it? Right. So that's one type of question. I think we have used two identities, two or three identities here. Now the next question. Look at it carefully. 103 into 103 2 times 103 so what is it 103 raised to the power of 2 right right so how can we write 103 I need to apply the identity for identity I need two variables what will be that what will be my a and what will be my b my a will be 100 my b will be 3 exactly I got a plus b whole square so this is my a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square. So what is a square? 
one, two, three, and four, plus six hundred, plus nine. So, what is my answer? One zero six zero nine. Isn't it simple? Guys, if you are liking it, please go ahead and like the video, okay? Good. So, let us go to the next question. Okay, that is 105 into 106. Which identity can come here? Think which identity can come here? Because this is 105 and this is 106. I don't think you will get A plus B and A minus B. You won't get that. What will we get? Let us see. I will get 100 plus 5 into 100 plus 6. So, this is my X. This is my A. And this is my B. So, which formula is this? X plus A into X plus B. This is how we find it. So, let us go ahead and apply the formula instead of doing it. How will we do it? How will we apply the formula? What is it? x square yes plus a plus b into x plus a into b right okay we all are doing a lot alone oh x was 100 so this will become 1100 plus 5 into 3 30 Okay, so how much is it total? 1, 1, 1, 3, 0. Am I correct? Did we all get the same answer? I hope you are doing with me. So, we have all, almost covered 4 of our identities. Enjoy it. We have to do rest 4 also. Isn't it? We will continue that in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.